Today we observe Yom HaShoah, and we remember the victims of the greatest crime of human against human. We remember the young, the old, the innocent, a million and a half children, six million Jews, 12 million human beings who were given lethal injections, who were gassed, burned, turned to ash, because they were deemed guilty of the crime of being different. Yom HaShoah has new meaning in the world we live in today. Anti-Semitism is on a rise here in America and around the world, with yet another synagogue shooting this week in California, six months to the day after Pittsburgh. Yom HaShoah reminds us what happens when hate takes hold of the human heart and turns to stone. What happens when victims cry for help and there's no one listening? What happens when humanity fails to recognize those who are not in the image are nonetheless in God's image? We remember and pay tribute to the survivors who bore witness to what happened, to the victims so robbed of their lives that they were also robbed of their deaths. We remember and give thanks for the righteous among the nations who save lives, often at their own, at the risk of their own life. Today on Yom HaShoah, we hear the voice that says in every generation, as it says in the Torah that we study every week, do not murder, do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor, do not oppress the stranger. We know that while we do not have the ability to change the past, we can change the future. We know that we can't bring the dead back, but we can ensure that their memories live on and that their deaths were not in vain. And so on this Yom HaShoah, we commit ourselves to one simple act, Yizkor, remember. We are called to remember today, and we must fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. May their memories be a blessing.